we spend all our lives trying to make sense and the end of life we find we try we try to make sense of life we try to make sense of our relationship to the universe we try to say make sense of matter we try to make sense of the eternal and at the end of our lives there's one thing we realize we try to make sense of that which was not supposed to be made sense of so i'm going to ask maybe tell you a story but please give me your imagination not your imagination that is bound by reason but just give me your imagination of your heart give me the imagination that is beyond reason are you willing to do that yeah okay so let me try imagine you're floating through life on a parachute imagine that that is the parachute of yourself it's the fabric of yourself that's the parachute and as you float through life in that parachute of the self obviously there's going to be winds that push your parachute but you have tools you have worked out you can push a lever here you can alter some controls here and you'll get back into control there'll a heavy wind that goes the other way you'll do that and you've got it all mapped out you're in control that parachute of yourself you're in control and you're floating through life yeah there's issues but you resolve them and then somebody comes to you and says hmm why don't you look up and you say well why do i need to look up say so, okay just look up imagine looking up now and realizing there's no parachute there was no parachute and you say you scream and say hey i'm going to fall and you say look down no 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 i'm not going to look down i'm going to fall i'm going to crash look down and there's nothing to crash into there's nothing there and then you say but, but hang on i fell i i fell from there was nothing there so you fell off from nothing you're falling into nothing and you're going nowhere who am i who am i welcome to the biggest adventure of all the journey inwards starts there when everything is taken away from you and you start going inside so so what is the inside and the outside the issue is that when we go on to the outside we have context so what did we do we imagined god's goddesses things that pushed us off from there we imagine gods and goddesses that save us on the journey and we imagine somebody gods and goddesses that will save us as we fall we created stories we created context so the journey inwards as against the journey outwards is a story of context and the story of no context what is the story of no context well i imagine that we started with the journey inside and the journey outside together but as we started to grapple with the journey outside we became addicted we became addicted to what i call the context and the keywords who am i that became a keyword so i started to define myself i decided that if i am i'm an individual and the first thing you know about the journey inside actually i'm not an individual the other way we describe was everything that i look at i look at the moon and i have a story to tell here's me here's the moon the moon tells me things there's poetry about the moon we go to the moon all kinds of things we do with the moon but i realize that i have no relationship with the moon till i tell a story everything is perception perception is context context is how i survive on the outside but when you go inside there's no context there is nothing i am we talk about i have to do something about the fires forest fires in amazon i who am i there is no i in the inward journey i have to do something about the fires in the amazon well actually i am the amazon 
I am that leaf that is burning. I am the smoke that's going up. All of us. So the journey inwards is this grappling with the losing of context and the losing of individuality. So when Lakshmi came to me and said, let's talk about this, and she used words, and I thought every keyword that she uses is keywords that we have got addicted to. She used the idea of, let's go back. Why don't we go back? Who's we? Let's find a way to be happy. What is happy? What are all these keywords? So the journey inwards is a re-describing of keywords. It's a re-describing of the self. Is that important? Yeah. It's when I'm the fire and I'm the leaf that is burning that I am the Amazon forest. When I'm the beggar that sits there with leprosy and looks straight at me, I am the beggar. There is a whole fluidity of letting go and there's a whole fluidity of what I call love. Not falling in love, not that I love you and you love me back. There's no individuality in that. Love as an overflowing of compassion, an overflowing of knowing that I am that and that is me. I am everything and everything is me. I am nothing and nothing is me. Imagine yourself, I mean, imagine yourself as a drop in the ocean. And the drop that says, hang on, I'm an individual, I'm looking for the ocean. No, but you're the drop. You are the ocean. You're looking for yourself. And only if you lose your individuality, only if you lose your sense of self, you will realize the ocean. And in the losing of your individuality, are you nothing? Of course you're nothing. But you're also everything. And that's the nature of finding yourself. That's the nature of the inward journey. You lose the addiction that the mind has, the addiction to define things. Our ego can only exist if we try and define things. And in defining everything, we confine everything. And therefore, we get stuck. So we're stuck in the outer, outer journey because we keep defining everything and keep confining everything. Let's go inwards. What is true is also false. What is, is also not. What might be, might not be. And therefore, gradually as you go in, you lose that little drop, starts to expand and expands and expands. What is it doing? It's losing context, it's losing definition, it's losing itself, it's losing individuality. And one day, as you make your journey inwards, you grow and grow and you become the ocean. Is that relevant in today's life? Is it not relevant to be the fire that's burning the Amazon forest? Is it not relevant to be the beggar that's dying of, of leprosy? Is it not relevant to be the disease that's killing, killing everybody? Is it not relevant to be that rather than separating yourself from that and saying a story, a context? Look at that beggar. I need to do something about that beggar. Is that better? Or is it better to be what you were born with, with the essence of, I am everything, I'm everything that's not, and by me being everything and becoming part of everything, I can change the world. Thank you very much. Thank you.